So today you are going to learn two different ways, two different natural medicines that you can make to treat sore throats. So if we end up in a grid down situation and if you just can't run to the pharmacy and either you or a loved one gets a nasty sore throat, this might be an answer for you. And this video is just one video in a whole playlist that I am doing on how natural medicines can be made in a grid down emergency situation. And I'm going to consume on video every natural medicine that I make so that you can see that they didn't kill me. Now let's get on with it. So let's jump straight into how you can make your own natural medicine to treat sore throats in a grid down situation. So the first medicine that we're going to make is going to be a common yellow wood sorrel tea to treat your sore throat with. Now this common yellow wood sorrel is very easy to find. I find it grows pretty much every place that I don't want it to grow. In garden boxes, in your gravel driveway, places like that. Now most people mistake the common yellow wood sorrel for uh, clover, but yellow wood sorrel has very distinct heart-shaped leaves and clover has more rounded edges. And I'll put a picture up here on the screen so that you can see a side-by-side -side comparison. So the reason why Native Americans would use common yellow wood sorrel for sore throats is because number one, it has natural compounds in it that just has soothing properties. So it will help to coat and soothe your sore throat. And it's also high in vitamin C, which is supposed to help fight whatever is causing your sore throat. So to make this yellow wood sorrel tea, all I'm gonna do is just grab a handful of these leaves. And now I'm going to bring one cup of water to boil. And now I'm going to pour this cup of boiling water over the sorrel leaves. And now I'm gonna let it steep for 15 minutes while the hot water extracts all the good stuff out of those common yellow wood sorrel leaves. 15 minutes later. Okay, now that it's steeped for 15 minutes, now I'm going to pour it through the strainer and strain out the vegetation so the tea ends up into the bottle. And I'm not even going to lie, I don't do well with hot drinks, so I'm going to have to let this sit for a few more minutes before I try it. 15 minutes later. Now it's been about 15 minutes even longer, so it's had time to cool down enough for my wimpy butt to drink it, and I will taste it. No, it's not just you. There are a lot of us out here right now that understand that we are in perilous times right now. We're always on the verge of World War III, the economy, prescription shortages, supply chain issues. But as a serious prepper, you can take control of your emergency preparedness by getting an emergency stash of your everyday medication, such as your cholesterol medicine or diabetes medicine or your heart medicine, or you can get an emergency stash of antibiotics known as the Jace case all through Jace Medical. So click the link below to make a major jump in your medical preparedness plan and be sure to enter the discount code of ethical to save $10 off your order when you do so. Now let's get back to the video. It's got like this weird lemony taste to it. It definitely tastes medicine-y. I don't have a sore throat, but I could kind of tell by the taste where it probably would help. I wouldn't drink this just for fun, but I would drink it if I were sick. Now the dosage on this is to start off with drinking a half cup of it, and then if your body tolerates it well, then go ahead and drink the other half cup of it to help you with your sore throat. And if your body tolerates it well, then you can drink this up to three times a day to help you with the sore throat in a emergency situation. And just a side note, this common yellow wood sorrel tea is so packed with vitamin C that not only would the Native Americans use it to treat sore throats, but they would also use it to treat scurvy. All right, let's get on with the next medicine. YouTube seems to like to unsubscribe people. So please make sure that you are subscribed and also hit the all notifications button. Now back to the video. Now you might be saying, hey, what if I get a sore throat in the middle of winter time when there's no yellow wood sorrel growing for me? What can I do? Well, what you can do is you can make a tincture from this goldenrod, these goldenrod flowers. Now the whole idea behind a tincture is that you can harvest these flowers and the plants during the warmer months when they are abundant. And then instead of using water to extract their medicinal good stuff out of them, you're using like an 80 to a 100% proof vodka. And what that high proof vodka does is not only does it extract the medicinal properties out of these plants into that vodka or that, that high proof alcohol, 
it also preserves it so that tincture, that natural medicine, will be ready for you to use in the winter time when you get sick in the winter time. Now let's get started making this tincture. So the way I'm going to make this goldenrod tincture is, is that I am going to cut the flower tops off of the plant and I'm going to stuff them into this mason jar. Now when I stuff them into this mason jar, I'm going to pack them in pretty good, but I'm not going to jam pack them in. And it's okay for the flowers to remain on the stems, so the flowers and the stems can go into your jar. And you'll also end up with just a few little small leaves in there too. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these flowers up very, very well so that the their good medicinal qualities get transferred into the vodka when I go to make this tincture. And now I'm going to transfer this cut up goldenrod flowers back into the mason jar. And again, I'm gonna pack it in here, and I'm gonna pack it in here about three fourths of the way full, and I'm not gonna completely fill the jar up, nor am I going to jam pack it in there, just about three fourths of the way up. And now I'm gonna pour the alcohol in there, and what I like to use is 100 proof vodka when I am using like fresh leaves or fresh flowers. I like a high proof vodka for anything that still has moisture in it that I've not dried out beforehand. And I'm going to fill this bottle to the very, very top. I don't want any air in between the vegetation and the rim. I don't really want any air space in here for the vegetation to be above the alcohol because then the vegetation or the flowers here could mold and ruin your tincture. Now I'm going to put the lid on there really tight and then I'm going to give it a few shakes to see if it releases any trapped air bubbles down there and then I'm going to check it to make sure that the alcohol level did not drop in the jar and if it would have I just would have topped it off with more vodka to top it off again and now I'm going to put the lid back on tightly and get it ready for storage over the next four to six weeks. Now after labeling a watt tincture this is going to be, I am now going to place it in a cool dark place for the next six weeks. And then every couple of days, every day, every couple of days I will take it out and give it a gentle shake and put it back into storage until it's ready. Four to six weeks later. Okay now since it's been in a cool dark place for six weeks let's go ahead and get the tincture out. Okay, now using this handy dandy fine mesh strainer, I am now going to strain the goldenrod vegetation from the alcohol and see if I can do this without making a mess. And what I'm pouring out here now is the final tincture. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this finished tincture into the bottle dropper. And now I'm going to label what kind of a um, tincture it is. And they say tinctures will last about three or five years before you need to replace them. And I like to be conservative, so I'm going to have it expire just about three years from now. And on the back side of the medicine bottle, I'm going to label it so that I can see everything that this tincture actually can be used for, because it can be used for more than just sore throats. Plus, it's also going to say what the dosage is. Okay, the way that I will take this medicine now is I will put two milliliters into a little bit of water. That's one. And here's two. All right, let's taste it, see how it tastes. I've had this before. It has a very pleasant, like flowery, floral taste to it. It's, it's actually very good. Now, I rarely ever get sore throats. But if I did, I would probably gargle this two or three times a day, two millimeters at a time, about three times a day, morning, lunch, evening, I would gargle this until my sore throat subsided. Hey folks, I am not giving medical advice in this video. I'm only showing what I would do in an emergency grid down situation. So if you try anything that you see in these videos, you're doing it at your own risk. So if you like this video where I quickly showed you step by step how to make this natural medicine, then comment down below with other elements that you would like to see natural medicines made for. Because I'm going to be doing plenty more of these types of videos. And to see more videos on how to make natural medicines for different elements, then click on the playlist that should be appearing on the screen just about now and this playlist is going to be growing as I film more of these videos. Anyways folks this is enough internet for me today I do need to get back to work and folks if you made it this far hey thank you very much for watching and I pray that you have a good night.